with these back-to-back -back storms we've been seeing, we wanted to know how much of the rain is making it into our reservoirs. And will it make a dent in our lingering drought? CBS 13's Madison Keevy is getting answers. She's live at a dry Folsom Lake. Madison? Yeah, Dry Folsom Lake. This is the visual representation of the stats that sometimes we share. Like, for example, Folsom Lake started December at 25% of average. And what that means is I'm standing on rocks where, on a good year, there may be water. And experts today tell me that our state's reservoirs, just like this one, haven't been able to keep up with climate change. Capturing all of this rain is a critical part of getting the state's reservoirs back to average levels. But more rain and a solid snowpack won't solve the state's water crisis. We're in a new world now. The system that we built was built for yesterday's climate, not for today's or tomorrow's climate. In short, we've got to figure out how to manage extreme events and improve on water demand. Are the extremes a new normal for California? Yeah, some, some uh, scientists have called this the climate whiplash. That whiplash comes from human-caused climate change, according to Peter Glick, so co-founder of the Pacific Institute. We're seeing more extreme events. We're seeing longer droughts and then sometimes incredibly intense precipitation. Some believe more reservoir storage could help. The sites project in the Sacramento Valley would add a reservoir, but experts I talked to asked the same thing. The question is, will there be enough water actually to fill that reservoir? This rain is good, but these types of weather events can't come all at once. State reservoirs also in place to prevent flooding may not be able to handle intense precipitation, brought on by climate change. Many of these reservoirs are aging. They're not getting younger. We actually need to start investing into them that, uh, to make sure that the safety that they provide is maintained in the coming years. Now, there is still some hope here of things that we can do actively right now. One of the things experts talked to me about today was groundwater storage and what that might look like long term for the state. There's also learning how to farm with less water but not lose any of the amount of food that's being created. These are all the types of conversations that researchers are having right now, and California will likely be on the forefront of that research simply because we have to be.